Day five of the World Championships and the fleet are expecting three really tough, challenging gold fleet races out on the Atlantic swell. First, let's go to the race officer to find out what conditions are in store. We're on the water, uh, just 10 minutes before the first race. We've got a westerly wind from 280 to 290 degrees and the uh, wind speed is about uh, uh, 15 to 20 knots. And it seems that's going to be a very nice uh, racing day. In more than a quarter of a century of 49er World Championships, France has never won the world title. On the strength of today's performance, Erwan Fischer and Clement Pican could be on the brink of making 49er history. With the wind gusting between 15 and 19 knots from the northwest, today would be the toughest physical challenge yet. The fleet departed Marina Rubicon for three hard races on the huge Atlantic swell. Fischer and Pican favoured an unusual port tack approach to the start, passing behind the bulk of the fleet who started on starboard. This proved to be a winning strategy as the French sailed to finishes of 3, 2 and 3, a level of consistency that none of their rivals could match. The French team go into the final day with a 30-point advantage over reigning world champions Bart Lambriex and Floris van der Verken, and 12 points further back are the Spanish favourites Diego Botin and Florian Trittel. Big breeze conditions tend to play into the hands of those tall Swedes Vilma Bobek and Rebecca Netzler. So it proved as the reigning world champions turned on an extra notch of speed that no one else could match. Two wins from two. They didn't start so well in the third, but surely their boat speed would pull them through again. On the charge down to the bottom of the course, the speedy Swedes were already up to second and chasing down race leaders, Adil van Anholt and Annette Dutz. But then, disaster for Sweden as Netzler is swept out of the back of the boat by a rogue wave and has to swim back almost 200 metres to catch up her capsized boat. Van Anholt and Dutz went on to win that race and coupled with other scores of third and second, the Dutch look well placed to win back the world title from their Swedish training partners. The Dutch carry a 25 point advantage into the final day with the second place Swedes 20 points ahead of Italy's Jana Germani and Giorgia Bertuzzi. The forecast for Super Sunday looks lighter from the north, so the wind could be shifty and difficult to read. So while the 49er and FX titles might look secure, nothing is certain on this tricky Lanzarote racetrack. and the FX titles might look secure. The truth is nothing is certain on this tricky Lanzarote racetrack. But the best way to find out? Join us tomorrow for Super Sunday.